How's it going guys? Uh, this workout is for Tuesday, April 14th. Let's get going. So we're going to start off with a warm up. It's going to be a descending ladder of 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 of three movements. So you're going to do 10 reps of movement A, 10 of movement B, 10 of movement C, 8, 8, 8, 6, 4, and 2, all the way down. We're going to start off with a deck squat. So make sure the area around you is clear of all obstacles or things you can hit yourself on. We're going to rock, we're going to squat down to our butt. We're going to rock back and rock forward. You can use a plate or something to help you get up as a counterweight, but this would be without a modification. One. Two. I'm going to do 10 reps. Then I'm going to go into 10. Hand release. Push ups. Lifting my hands at the bottom of each rep. After 10, I'm going to lift the leg, point the toe out. I'm going to do 10 spider climbers per leg. After 10, we'll go 888, 6. Four and two, and you will complete your warm up. Welcome back. So, this will be our first of three workouts for today. We're going to, for this one, you need no equipment other than a timer. Um, there's a ton of good timers out there. I've been telling you guys to use Tabata Pro, <clears throat> but just if you just Google or if you go to the App Store and look up workout timers, um, you'll find a lot of really good options to choose from. So, today, First workout, it's going to be an every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. We're going to have station or minute A and minute B. So uh, you'll do five minutes of each, essentially. Minute A, you're going to have your timer, three, two, one, go, and at go, you're going to have your hands here on the shoulders or overhead, and we're going to perform five hollow rocks into 10 alternating atomics. With the hollow rock, I'm trying to keep this hollow body position, not letting my feet touch the floor. And after my fifth, going right into some flexion of the hip for 10 reps of an alternating atomic. With the alternating atomic, try to not lift your leg first, but bring your torso off the ground and meeting in the middle. Okay, so five hollow rocks, 10 alternating atomics. Then. You're ready to go for minute two. When the timer goes, you'll be on the floor. We're gonna do 15 to 20 reps, your choice of an up-down. High plank position, flat feet. One, two, three, four. 20 of these is a big push in a minute, but a lot of you guys should have the ability to do that. If not, just scale back closer to 15. So, 10 minute EMOM, five hollow rocks, 10 alternating atomics, that's your first minute. Second minute is 15 to 20 up downs. You're not going all the way down to the chest. Straight arm plank position, hopping back to flat feet. You'll do each minute five times. So it's a 10 minute workout, have fun. Okay guys, welcome back. This will be our second of three elements for today. It's a long day, so I hope you're ready for it and you ate your Wheaties this morning. You're gonna need a dumbbell, a sandbag, barbell, some, something to add weight to this. Again, you can use a backpack, um, a child, whatever you have at your disposal. We're gonna have a primary movement. Our primary movement is gonna be a dumbbell or variation tempo squat. We're gonna be holding this squat or the weight in the front rack position. So if you have a barbell, front squats. Zerker squats are okay too. The tempo, we're gonna do eight reps of three seconds down, one, two, three, two second hold, one second up, that's one rep. Three, two, one, one, two, up. Eight reps, after eight reps, try to go directly into 10 reps per leg of a Bulgarian split squat. You can do this weighted or unweighted. If you weight it, I would encourage you to hold it in this goblet position. One, two, try to keep our knee over our ankle in this one. After 10, match your feet and switch. After 10 split squats, we're gonna go into 10. Curl to press, 
back down, reverse curl. If you want to add some more difficulty to this, add a tempo as well. One, two, three, press. Three, two, one. One, two, three, press. Three, two, one. So, you've got four rounds of eight tempo squats, 10 Bulgarian split squats per leg, and then 10 curl to presses. Say you have two lighter dumbbells. Easy answer, dumbbell in each hand. You've got one heavy dumbbell, or not quite heavy enough, hold it this way and add a tempo, okay? All right, welcome back. So this will be part three of today's workout. This will be our conditioning element. It's gonna be by far the longest part. So I'm gonna roll through this, I'm gonna throw the entire workout up on the description. If you have any questions, shoot me a text, me or Maggie a text, or throw us a comment in the uh, comment section and we'll try to reply to it as soon as we see it. So we're gonna do a chipper. You're gonna start at the top of the list and chip your way through the list of exercises. In between exercises, every time we're gonna do 25 jumping jacks. So here's our chipper. We're gonna start off with an 800 meter run. If you don't know where that is, use Google Earth, measure tool, find a quarter mile out from wherever you desire to start your run and a quarter mile back. Pretty easy. So you can also shorten this if you wanna do a 400 or 200 meter run. We're gonna start off with 10 unilateral man makers. So we'll take our dumbbell, push up, row, row, hop to the feet, clean, and press. I'm gonna do 10 of those. Step back, 25 jumping jacks. Okay, then I'm gonna go to 20, four way, shoulder taps. So tap, tap, reach, reach, that's one. Tap, tap, reach, reach, that's two. Try not to let my back or hips shift. 25 jumping jacks. We're going to 30, jumping lunges. 25 jumping jacks. 40 burpees, all the way down. Flat feet, 25 jumping jacks. 50, this is the top of the ladder. Sit-ups, 25 jumping jacks. Then 40, hollow body presses. 25 jumping jacks. Then 30, got my water bottle out here because 35 pound dumbbell is a little too much for me to do this exercise well. Under one leg, atomics. If you have a 10 pound weight, you should probably be okay with this. But if you're using a 30 pound dumbbell, don't even try it. 25 jumping jacks. Then 20 wave squats. This is a new take on an old exercise we've done. One rep is partial squat, partial squat, jump, pulse, pulse, jump. That's two, pulse, pulse, jump. That's three, 20, 25 jumping jacks. And we're gonna finish it up with 10 unilateral man makers, just how we started the workout. And after those, one more run. So starting and finishing with a run, you're gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, with jumping jacks in between, and then 40, 30, 20, 10, with jumping jacks in between. And remember, a run at the top and bottom of the workout. Have fun with this. We sure as hell miss you guys. I hope you're all doing well, please. Let us know if you need anything. We're here for you. And I'm hoping that next month we're all back to together again. Um, really look forward to those days. But in the meantime, I hope this is working. Please leave us any feedback in the comments and share these workouts to friends and family so everyone can see you don't need a ton of fancy equipment to stay in shape. We'll see you soon.